Hey everybody, in this video we will be solving a problem called leaders in array. So first of all this is one of the most popular question in array and frequently asked in interviews. So now we have an array here and we have to print all those numbers in the array which are leaders. So by saying leader we mean for example here we have 16 this element 16 is called leader only when all the elements right side of this element is smaller than 16 for example here we have 16 if this 16 is called leader if all the numbers to the right side of this particular number is less than 16 for example 16 is here we have 19 4 3 7 5 and 2 so here we can see 19 is greater than 16 so clearly 16 is not a leader so now pointer will be shifted we are here we have 19 now let's see all the elements right side of the 19 here we have 4 3 7 5 and 2 so all elements are smaller than 19 then we can say 19 is leader so this is leader now here again 4 all the elements to the right of 4 are 3 7 5 2 so 7 and 5 are greater than 4 then this is not a leader pointer again here now 7 5 2 we have 7 and 5 greater than 3 so this is not a leader also then 7 now here we have 5 and 2 so these two are smaller than 7 so this is a leader again here we have 5 5 uh, only 2 is right side of the 5 then we can see this is leader also also the rightmost element of the array is always leader so here we have 19 7 5 and 2 as a leader so this is we have to return so this is our question now let's see how we are going to solve this so let me just remove all this so we had 16 19 4 3 7 5 and 2 this was our array okay now uh, our first approach will be brute force so what we will do we will use two nested loops so for example we have our first pointer at the 16 and our second loop will take this 16 as a consideration and check all the elements to the right of this 16 so when the pointer is here of the second loop it will simply break because we got the next only element greater than our pointer element so this pointer will be shifted now main pointer is at 19 so 19 will be in the consideration again we check all the elements to the right of this 19 we got 4 3 7 5 and 2 so all the elements are smaller than 19 then we will simply print 90 again pointer is shifted here we have 4 so 3 7 5 2 so 4 is not again pointer is shifted and second loop will check all the elements to the right of this one we have 7 5 2 so this is all not clearly a leader again pointer is now shifted 7 yes we have 7 a leader so we'll print 7 again pointer is shifted yes 5 is also leader and 2 is also a leader so this was our brute force we used two nested for loops and simply check if all the elements to the right side is greater or not but we know this will be had this will had the time complexity of o of n cross n minus 1 n minus 1 because we are traversing we are not taking this only element as our as in our calculation 
so this is our time complexity o of so we can say o of n square is our complexity so here we have the code for the brute force method so this is our array and we have two nested for loops here now the first loop i will you know pick element let's say it will pick 16 and this j will pick every element one ahead from i so it will pick for the first iteration 19 so we will take an example where i will take 16 and j will you know take 19 now if arr i is less than arr j that is 16 is less than 19 which is the case so it will simply break from the loop because there is no point to further search in the array so this one cannot be the you know our leader and if j reaches to the end of the array that is if the case is with 19 let's say i is 19 and we will check that j these values are for j j will be never you know less than j will never be greater than i so in this case j reaches to the end and we will simply print that one okay so this was our algorithm and code let's see it's you know let's run this so here we have our output which is 19 7 5 and 2 so this was our brute force method so we had seen the brute force approach of solving this problem now let's optimize the solution so in the previous method we were traversing from the left side but in this method or in this part we will traverse from the rightmost element that is here too we will also declare a variable called max max from right max from right here we have a variable that store the values that is maximum from the right side now initially its value will be set to the rightmost element that is arr of n minus 1 n is the length of array so this is the value of this variable initially now as we traverse we will simply update the value of this variable so here we have our pointer that is initially set to 2 or the rightmost element of array we will shift the pointer to the left side now pointer is shifted to the left side and if this pointer value here is greater than the initial pointer value then we will update our variable value here we have initially 2 now our next value or the new value of the pointer is 5 then we will simply update our variable now our this one is our this variable is 5 now again pointer is shifted okay wait if we got the new value of max then we can say this value is our leader okay so initially it was 2 so this is 2 is a leader then 5 5 is also a leader now again we shift the pointer to the left side we have 7 so 7 is greater than max from the right that was 5 so 7 is greater than 5 then we will update the value to 7 and also put 7 as a output now again pointer is shifted to the left we have 3 and compare it with the max from right variable that has the value 7 so if we compare 3 and 7 here so 3 is less than 7 then we will do nothing just simply you know move the pointer to the left side we got 4 we compare 4 with 7 still 4 is less than 7 so we will put or shift the pointer to the left side we got 19 here so 19 is greater than our value or our uh, you know constant that is max variable max from right which was 7 so 19 is greater than 7 so we will update the value to 19 and also print it 
Now pointer is again shifted to the left side here 16. We will compare this 16 with max from right that is 19. So 16 and 19, 16 is less, 19 is greater. So we will do nothing. Now if now we traversed all the element of array and we got these four as a leader, which is 2, 5, 7, and 19. So here we have our array. This one is our array. And we have discussed that the last element will always be the leader. So we simply, you know, first printed the last element manually. Okay. Then we declared our variable maximum from right and initially set its value to the rightmost value of the array here, which is 2. So this one is 2. Now we will start traversing from the right. And as we found any element which is greater than the max from right, initially, let's say in the first iteration, in the first iteration, max value is 2. And if we, you know, go to the value 5, which is, you know, which is greater than our max value, then we will simply set max to the 5. That is, max from right will set to the 5 which is arr i minus 1 in this case is 5 now again we got we have max 5 and arr i minus 1 is you know 7 which is greater than our max value then we will again set max to the arr of i minus 1 which is 7 which is what we are doing and at every you know traversal or operation we simply you know print max from right and now let's run this one now we have our output which is you know 25719 which was our you know answer which was our leaders in the array so that's it see you in the next video